In this video, we're going to look at one of the trigonometric functions called the sine function, or sine x. So we can graph this function in the xy plane. So that'll be the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. And you can use values of the unit circle to graph this. So like the sine of 0 is 0. So you know that it starts at 0, 0, right? Because if you plug in 0 here, you get sine of 0. And so that's equal to 0. So you have the point 0, comma 0. So 0, 0. Um, the sine of pi over 2 is 1. So if you do f of pi over 2, you get the sine of pi over 2. So you get 1, right? So you get pi over 2, comma 1. So at pi over 2, this is pi over 2 here, um, you get 1. Okay, you get 1. And at pi, you get 0. Okay, so at pi, you get 0. At 3 pi over 2, you get negative 1. So we're down here. And then at 2 pi, we get 0 again. Okay, so the sine function looks kind of like this. So part of the sine function looks something like that. And it keeps going forever. Okay, keep the, it, should, it should keep going here. I just don't want to draw it. I'm going to stop at 2 pi. If you go backwards, if you go into the negative x um, the numbers that are negative, x values that are negative, here you would have negative pi over 2. Okay, then here you would have uh, negative pi. Then here you would have uh, negative 3 pi over 2. And then here you would have negative 2 pi. So then here you have, uh, let's see, at negative pi over 2, you're at negative 1, so you're down here. Negative pi, you're back at 0. And then at negative 3 pi over 2, you're at 1. And then at negative 2 pi, you're here. So this is what the graph of, of sine looks like. It looks something like this, okay? So generally, when someone asks me, what's the graph of sine look like? I, it looks like, what does it look like? I just know it does something like that, right? It always passes through 0, 0. So that's the graph of sine. Um, what's important about this graph? Um, well, first of all, it repeats. Uh, every, every 2 pi, it repeats. Notice this here is a mirror image of this here. So this is called the period. It repeats every uh, 2 pi. This is one period. So the period here, the period of sine is 2 pi. So every 2 pi, um, the graph basically repeats. So if I were to draw it over here, it would look exactly the same. So it's a wave function that's it just repeats itself over and over again. You have x-intercepts at pi, 2 pi, negative pi, negative 2 pi. So your x-intercepts are at x equals 2n pi, where n is an integer. Okay, where n is an integer. Uh, it's an odd function. That's really, really important for calculus. It's an odd function uh, because it's symmetric uh, about the origin. So if you flip it twice, uh, you would get the same thing. Um, so that means algebraically that sine of negative x is equal to negative sine x. That's super important. Just memorize that. Sine is odd, so you can pull out negative signs. And the range is negative 1 to 1. That's very important for the sine function. So the range is negative 1 to 1. Is negative 1 to 1. So that's the sine function. Just a quick introduction. You want to memorize it, and to memorize it, um, just remember it passes through 0 and then just makes a wave. You know, that, that's probably the, the most important thing you need to remember. Um, that's it.